If you try to lose body fat, stop eating breakfast. How does breakfast consumption affect weight loss? One large meta-analysis compared early time-restricted eating in which you eat breakfast but skip dinner versus late time-restricted eating in which you skip breakfast but eat dinner found that early time-restricted eating appeared to be more effective for weight management. But what about breakfast consumption itself? Multiple studies have indicated that breakfast consumption is associated with greater weight loss even during intensive lifestyle interventions. Overall, both groups ended up losing weight, but the breakfast-consuming group found they had greater weight loss. It may also appear that skipping breakfast is more highly correlated with overweight and obesity. This does not mean that skipping breakfast will cause this phenomenon, but it increases its likeliness. And despite what is claimed in this video, consuming breakfast is actually associated with improved glucose tolerance and insulin responses throughout the day. Very importantly, this is what the graph would typically look like. As you can see, if you are reducing calories, you will absolutely lose weight regardless of whether or not you are consuming breakfast. However, it does appear that breakfast consumers will lose marginally more weight. You absolutely do not need to consume breakfast in order to lose weight, and some people find that skipping breakfast is more convenient. However, the idea that breakfast is the reason that you're not losing weight and that everyone should be skipping breakfast in order to lose weight simply is not validated by the scientific literature. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.